Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom ROM onto your rooted Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the AT&T version i747 running Jelly Bean 4.1.1, and I've just rooted it. Hopefully you were successful in watching one of my videos here on how to root this thing. And so, once you get it all rooted and successful, uh, we can go to the Play Store here, and we're going to download an app called ROM Manager, and there is a paid version and a free version. For what we're going to do today, the free version is just good enough, and so I'm just going to go ahead and install this now. And so the paid version does have uh, more ROMs, uh, more access, or more variety of different ROMs, as well as something called Nightlies, and that's uh, a ROM, but has more new features added, well, nightly, as the name states. And so once we've installed... Uh, ROM manager here it's successful we're gonna go ahead and fire this up and then it's telling you that uh, ROM manager is not responsible if you break your or phone or brick it by the way what we're about to do is going to wipe out the entire um, operating system here it's gonna wipe out all of your saved data all of your pictures all of your text I suggest you use a program like titanium backup that's gonna be another video I'm sorry I'm not gonna show you how to back everything up on uh, this device here right now right here uh, but titanium backup is a great program and it's another pro it's another video that I'll have to work on later anyways expect to have everything wiped out uh, this there's nothing on here for me so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it out anyways alright so the first thing we gotta do is flash the clockwork re re clockwork mod recovery and so when you click on this it's going to detect that this is the Samsung Galaxy S3 AT&T version. And so we're going to click on that. And then it's going to also give you an option of adding a Clockwork Mod Touch version. This is a paid version. You don't necessarily have to do this. And so we're going to go ahead and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. So it's going to go ahead and download and install the recovery mode. So this is a program that sits outside of the operating system that allows you to install custom ROMs. It it boots into another boot manager outside of the the uh, operating system here. And so we're going to go ahead and grant. Oops, I did not. This is what happens when you talk too much. It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> you don't pay attention and you don't click on the uh, allow. All right, we're going to grant super users asking to flash this clockwork mod recovery and we're going to click on okay. And then it's saying it's trying to advertise for you. Do you want touch? We'll just say cancel for now. All right. And that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and look for a ROM. So you click on download ROM and then see under here the premium Cyanogen mod nightlies. Uh, what we're going to actually do is just look for Cyanogen Mod, and there's a bunch of different ROMs here that you can try, and we're going to click on Cyanogen Mod, and then you're going to click on Cyanogen Mod again, then you click on Download, and we also want Google Apps 4.1. Now, Cyanogen Mod 10, it's a very stable version, it's great, but it is uh, 4.1, I believe, Jelly Bean, yeah. And so you also have to download the apps that are made for 4.1. And so we're going to go ahead and click on OK. Now Cyanogen Mod is downloading. And so this is going to take a little while. I suggest that you have the power plugged into it. Or if you have 100% battery, this should be good enough. So we're going to let this uh, reboot itself. And so when it's done, it's going to have Cyanogen Mod 10.0, a stable version. Alright, so now that the ROM has finished downloading, we're going to click on it. You can either select to back up existing ROM. We can wipe data and cache, which is always a good idea because the previous information that you have saved on here are going to be in different locations. So in the new ROM, it could mess things up in the new ROM, right? So we're going to wipe data and cache. We're not going to back up uh, an existing ROM. We're not going to add any zips. We already have what we need here, Cyanogen Mod and the Google Apps. Then we're going to click on Reboot and Install. Then we're going to click on OK. Speak now, forever hold your peace. And this is going to go through the installation process here. And we're going to have ourselves a brand new ROM.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the phone is now going to reboot, and here we should have the Cyanogen Mod logo boot screen animation, and there we have it. And so that's pretty much how you install a custom ROM on here using ROM Manager. Now I'm going to be showing you how to download and install a ROM manually from the internet and doing it in yourself in the recovery mode. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you how to download and install a ROM manually. And so what we're going to do is we're going to first download a ROM and we're going to go to, oops, we're going to go to a shortcut that I created. Uh, we're going to download the AOKP 4.2.1. And so I created a shortcut and it's j.mp slash AOKP. 421 and so this is a website it's on the XDA um, developers forum and, and they provide links to download the custom ROM so if we go down to the bottom here you'll see right down here it has uh, jellybean 4.2.1 it's the uh, AOKP build it's a kind of a popular build here and uh, it's giving you a warning no over the air on this build meaning you can't get updates um, once you flash this custom ROM here it's highly experimental but that, that again that's why you are here and so when you click on download it starts the download and it's gonna take a little while because it's uh, somewhat of a large file and then we're also gonna download the G apps for this particular ROM because it's 4.2 and we need 4.2 G apps those are Google apps like Google Calendar, Gmail, the camera app, etc., etc. And so on this site here, download button, there we have our two downloads going. And so while we're waiting for that, what we're actually going to do is we're going to look for an app, a file explorer app. And so what I'll do is I'll fire up the Play Store here and I'm gonna look for browse root browser light that's a good one it's free and easy because uh, we're gonna wanna look for the file that we downloaded the ROM file here now alternatively you could just plug this thing into the computer see the files that you need uh, or download the files that you need from the internet from a web browser traditionally drag and drop them onto the phone itself and so uh, this is just uh, the way I happen to record this video and the way I'm doing this is just downloading it straight onto my phone and so once this is done we're gonna go ahead and look for the file so that we know where it's at so that we can find it in the recovery mode All right, so our files have finished downloading and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up root browser and I've already jumped straight to it but let me just show you where you would go to so when you start up the program, you see your uh, file structure here. We're going to go to SD card. We'll go to downloads. There's your two files that you've just downloaded. Just take note that it's in the SD card and in the download folder because what we're going to do now is we're going to boot into recovery mode. There's a couple of ways of doing it. You could use ROM manager again, but I'm going to show you how to manually do it from a powered off state. Right, so now I'm going to show you how to boot into recovery mode and so what you're going to do is you're going to hold the volume up, power and home button all three at the same time. So you press all three at the same time you're going to see the Samsung logo flash with some blue letters up on top and when you see those blue letters up on top flash you let go and it's going to boot into the recovery mode. Alright, so before we find our zip and flash our ROM, we have to delete everything that's on here. Again, I'm not showing you how to back up stuff. You're going to have to figure that out yourself. I don't have anything on here that I want to save and this is going to wipe everything out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to wipe data and factory reset. So you use the volume up and down keys to uh, move and then you select with the power button. Right. So I've done that. So I've done the wipe data factory reset, wipe cache partition and go ahead and wipe that then we're gonna go even further into this mounts and storage and what we're gonna do is we're gonna format 
the system. We're going to even format that, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back. Then we're going to install a zip from SD card. So we'll click on that. And then we're going to choose a zip from the SD card, which is the top um, option there. Sorry, let me focus for you. Right? And then, so you're going to choose the top one. Then we're going to remember, we're going to go down to downloads. Then we want to do the uh, Jelly Bean first before the G apps. So we'll do that. Install the AOKP Jelly Bean 4.2. And so this is a bit of a process, so it's going to take a little while. When this is done, we're going to go ahead and install the G apps. All right, so then you get an install from SD card is complete. Now we're going to continue. And we're going to choose a zip from the SD card. Back again, we're going to choose the G apps now. All right, now that we're done, we're going to go ahead and go back. Then we're going to reboot the system now with our new ROM. All right, and this is our new ROM. Don't judge me by my boot screen. Um, this is pretty much it for that. Um, be sure to check out one more video that I'm going to do and that is to get rid of all of this stuff. Let's say that custom ROMs just ain't for you and you want to flash back to 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, the stock Samsung Galaxy ROM. That's going to be my following video after this. Hopefully that was informative for you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.